Time now for sports news on the News at 10 with Charles Zeruka. Thanks so much, Gimba. Welcome to Sports News. African champions, the Tigers of Nigeria, have been drawn along with the world champions, the United States, host nations Serbia and Mozambique for the final qualifying tournament for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. The qualifying tournament is scheduled to hold from February the 6th to the 9th in Belgrade. The Tigers' last qualification for the Olympics was in 2004. Uh, 2004. France will host the second qualifying tournament and will battle Puerto Rico, Brazil and Australia. South Korea, China, Great Britain and Spain have been grouped together in Foshan, while Canada, Japan, Sweden and Belgium will slug it out in the Belgian city of Ostend. The top three teams from each tournament will qualify for the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. From basketball to soccer now, the Nigeria Football Federation has asked Super Eagles head coach Gernot Rohr to explain reasons behind several breaches of the contract that he signed. The NFF said the German's contract forbids him from divulging to the public sensitive information on some aspects of the contract. NFF's technical director Beatrice Bewarang explained that Rohr's actions are highly unprofessional and against the spirit and letter of his contractual relationship with the football body. He added that what the NFF is owing Rohr is the differential in his new contract, which is about $30,000 and he'll soon be paid. And now to tonight's UEFA Champions League matches. Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi and Antoine Griezmann are on the score sheet as Barcelona progressed to the last 16 with an emphatic win over Borussia Dortmund. Lautaro Martinez scored twice as Inter Milan defeated Slavia Prague to stay in contention for a place in the last 16. Zenit St. Petersburg secured a 2-0 home win over Olympic Lyon to stay in the hunt for a place in the knockout stages. Chelsea will have to wait to book their place in the knockout stage after a late goal from Valencia denied them victory in an epic 2 0 draw. Ajax Amsterdam, on the other hand, advanced to the last 16 with a win over LOSC Lee. And that's it on Sports News. I'm Charles Eruka. It's back to Gimba with the rest of the news at 10. Thank you, Charles. And the main news again, bandits today killed five people, including two village heads and a vigilante leader in an attack on two communities in Karim Lamido local government area of Taraba State. Also today, the UNHCR said that about 218,000 Nigerian refugees are spread across Chad, Cameroon and Niger Republic, while 46,000 refugees from Cameroon reside in Nigeria. And rescuers from several countries today scrambled to find survivors of earthquake that hits Albania, killing 28 people and injuring 650. And that's all it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for being a part of it. On behalf of everyone here, I'm Gimba Omar. Good night.